put on some music. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Ian Walker here again. Hope everybody's doing good. So <laughs> it's going to be a different one tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you guys don't know, I went and bought a new, uh, a new uh, tablet. A display tablet. So you notice I'm not on my iPad tonight. So, um, I am on I don't even know what I'm doing. This is funny. Um, want a new tablet? I have to studio paint. And so, what I'm doing tonight is I'm just going to be shooting the breeze and, uh, teaching myself the studio paint. I already, as you guys can see, I've already been kind of messing with it a little bit already. Um, and, uh, and so I'm hoping that uh, it'll be legit. Zaptica, what's going on? Thank you for coming in tonight. Hope you follow Beyond Image Photography. Hello, hello. What's good? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. So I'm on here trying to uh, do things I normally don't do when I need to cut it out. So what I could do is, I'm, I'm, I have to teach myself uh, Clip Studio Paint because I'm going to be using this for, I'm going to be using this for pretty much my, my long time, uh, finishing up the rest of the finishing up the rest of the book that I'm working on. So I figured, you know, since I got a tablet, I got a Huion Camera Pro 16. It is a great piece of machinery. Um, I'm still working out some tweaks in it and everything, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with, uh, with um, where I'm you know, where that was, where it's going. So, um, I don't have, I don't have very many complaints at all. I, I think it's just going to take me a minute to, um, understand, you know, what it is and, and, and how to use it. But, you know, just like any, anything that you're learning for the first time, you know, there's always going to be some kind of learning curve. So, I will love it if any of you guys who do use Clip Studio Paint could uh, leave me a message on my Instagram. I do walk for art. You can see that. Uh, see that. Well, if you're not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me there. Instagram.com slash I do walk for art. If you like what you are seeing tonight and just hanging out and you want to join this art and sticker club on my Patreon, go ahead over there. Click that link there. And let me go and post that in the in the comments here so that there. Um patrons will get a five by seven print of the stuff that I make as well as um stickers that I come up with on a monthly basis. So all right. So you guys take a head over there and uh become a patron. You guys get something every month some print on demand stuff you can put up with yourself or if you join a higher tier you get the actual physical five by seven print made if i need sent to you along with some vehicle because the step are pretty fire and i'm excited about my vehicle 
<laughs> I am not abandoning procreate. I just want, want y'all to know that. I'm not going to be abandoning procreate. Um, I will use procreate mostly for my big illustrations. Um, like even my prints and my stickers for that. Clip Studio Paint here will be used to do my comics on. So, you know, I'm going to take the time to try my best to learn that program and uh, just try my best guys <laughs> you know So hopefully um, within the next couple of weeks when I get, because I'm literally one page away from finishing my uh, comic. And uh, so um, once I'm done with that, I will be able to, like I said, I'm going to use this opportunity to learn the program here and uh, hopefully start doing a lot doing a lot more. I'm going to uh, be showing the process of my comic book creation. Um, one of those things that I said I was going to do was uh, kind of document that a little bit so that those of you who are curious as how I go about my... I'm here for the pizza rolls. <laughs> That's that next guy. Here for the pizza rolls. I'm sorry, man. I ain't no pizza rules here. Like that. Next week, though. Next week, I have pizza rules. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know I was supposed to. Be. Shamar Moore, this you look like <laughs> Shamar Moore. <laughs> you good, man. <laughs> you good, man. He's here to have fun, bro. Nothing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of those punch. You know, I'm not so much. I'm not so much stuff. I want my phone. I want my voice. I feel like they can come in and have some fun talking. Got a cool car. You know what's funny? I'm do I'm using as I'm using this. I'm getting used. I'm still doing the uh, <laughs> the iPad motions on your um 
on your Apple Pencil, you double tap the stylus. You switch from eraser to, you know, uh, <laughs> fill and procreate. And it's funny because I'm, because <laughs> I'm double tapping my pen. And you're like, oh, man, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't, uh, this ain't procreate. And I keep reminding myself of that. It's funny. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, kind of messing with stuff a little bit, and I can already see a lot of the benefits, and see a lot of the appeal of 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 using this program. I can understand why it's so popular among so many. Um, the look of it is just. I can't say that this has the same look as I say even when I was uh, even when I was on Photoshop um, I can't say that it had the same you know look and feel you know brush and a dropper liquefied blend let's see what's this blend to it smooth everything this is a nice blend wow you know what i'm so used to is that pixelated mess you know i'm so used to that on the um, you know even on procreate But now I'm getting this nice, nice little blend here. That's pretty fire, man. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some benefits here. I, I don't know, y'all. Y'all need to watch out. Once I learn how to use this program, dude, it's over. It's over. Although I kind of already have some shadows under here, I want to go ahead and still do that here. And you see that there's no light uh, escaping in some areas. Keep messing with this. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be good. Let's see. All right. So, oh, let's go ahead and do the highlights layer.
Not too pink for my toes. I don't, I don't look. I don't look like no. Um, there are some areas where our solid, where, where a very cut shadow, like here on the side, looks actually looking pretty good. You know? So, and that's me, and that, and all that is is just me needing to get my planes right. Get my planes on point and uh, getting those correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I went. Um, Pretty far in with the with the illustration tonight. That's the rotation. How do you take the whole thing in and move it? How do you move it? Oh, I know. Mean. Well, I'm just gonna deselect it. I'm gonna just leave this here as it is. So I am seeing though a 
why um, comic book artists are using this program. Um, depending on what color style you're trying to go for, you can definitely are able to um, come up with a cool um, illustration here. So uh, that's 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 really cool. I am definitely here for that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a new illustration here. Five by eleven. Let's go ahead with the new here. Joe, look at that. Let's just go back to custom here. And I will do 11 by 17. Another illustration here. All right. All right. So brand new, fluffy, delicious. Illustration. Now, I'm gonna go at this totally blind, like I'm whatever. Um, what I think I want to try to do is what I think I want to do is I want to try to create a variant cover for my. So what I'm going to is take a look Design. You guys are going to probably get a sleep or something pretty new here. So,
All right, so we're going to go with Well, here what I'm doing is I'm just kind of creating a stick figure body for um, here because what I'm going to do is create a um, some more learning too and what's bothering me is how to expand and contract stuff specific um anything here I'm just kind of creating a creating a body so that I can use it as a kind of a as a template. And what I can do is what I think I'm gonna do 
is create these templates on here and then once I create the templates I can use them as the uh, um, like character sheets for whatever designs I'm going to use. So I'm going to keep it very simple. I don't even know if that hand looks funky, but you know, it is what it is. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. This is just, a, like I said, just a mannequin, nothing, nothing too serious.
hope everyone is having a good and decent weekend. I don't know if any of you guys have any plans to go do anything special with the family. If you do, I wish you a good uh, weekend. Hope all goes well for you. Not too thrilled with it, but you know it is what it is. This is just learning. This is just a drawing to kind of get my feet wet. So, Nothing too crazy. <laughs> put, put in, add in some mucellus. All right. Add in another layer here. Starting with the new layer. So what I like to do, if you guys are, are, are with me for the first time, I like to be on, go to Pinterest to find out my, uh, to, uh, to get reference for stuff. Uh, So, what you're going to see here is probably some influence there. So the Demosians are classy people. Um, what I'm wanting to do is I want this to kind of be a, 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 a it's a sort of a space suit, but I don't want it to be. Thing that is, you know, too crazy.
kind of what I'm doing. I'm just kind of coming up with ideas, taking elements from what I'm seeing here and seeing what I could come up with. The Morsians, last they were seen on Earth, they kind of went back on as like a, they were kind of godlike. So I kind of want to keep that motif a little bit, um, but at the same time, it still be something uh, that indicates that they travel for quite a ways, quite a while. From Cell gets off the ship. I want, I want there to be no doubt that he is when people see him looking. I don't want, I, I, want, I want there to be zero doubts in people's minds that this is an alien. Two Super Sentai for me. Keep going with it. 
that's the only color I have. Of creation, yo. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I don't know where this is going. All right. Yo, yeah, just, just roll with it. Just roll with it. So, how are you guys feeling about um, if anybody's watching or is watching this later? The DC lineup that is on uh, that James Gunn came out with. How are you guys feeling about that? Um, I know, I know. For me, I'm I'm kind of I'm a bit on the fence. I think there's some cool things that's gonna come out of this. Um, I just, I just, I'm just hoping that it's not going to be much of the same thing or that he doesn't, that James Gunn has, doesn't have the plan to do the same thing as the others have done in times past. You know, over-promise, over-promises with under-delivery, things like that. There have been so many things that have happened as of late. I'm almost in that camp of, you know, we'll see, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Only because I've been seeing so much wackiness happening. That is just like now, I'm just like, eh. I mean, I'm, I, I hope it turns out good. I hope things will happen, but I don't. I get. I'm, I guess I just have a lukewarmness perception of everything. There are certain things that I feel like don't deserve the attention that it's going to get. I don't see the necessity for an Amanda Waller TV show. The only time that's necessary, in my opinion, is if it's a checkmate show, which I think would be way more cool and way more interesting than, you know, just a show about Amanda Moore. You know? I just feel like... And I know James Gunn has a thing about um, taking obscure characters and, you know, kind of making them cool, I guess, and bringing them out into the limelight, which is cool. He does, he definitely has a kick for that. But again, I don't know if I'm, if I'm, if I care about that <laughs> for Amanda Waller. I don't know. I just don't see the, the necessity for it. Maybe that's just me being salty. I don't know. But I just don't. I, oof. I really don't. All right. So this is one concept. All right. Let's try this uh, selection tool. Up. Drink. How about we just leave that where it's at? <laughs> Turn that off. Do 
another layer. We're gonna do another color. Let's go with something in you. version of the Demosian Suits.
times. Gigantic. Boots here. I don't even know, guys. <laughs> Should he even come down in any armor?
I do know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Design. Did not know I was going to be doing character design. Um, what 
like more. I like that. something from the whole more convenience to 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 show here. Again, like me. I like the idea of the big gigantic boots.
from the key to those. Because I like that. Mm-hmm. Gloves. Like I'm digging this uh, specific suit here. when you experiment with shapes and <laughs> trying to figure out what it is you want to do you can come up with some crazy edge.
here. I'm going to put this up as a poll on the Instagram page, and I'm going to have you guys choose which one you guys think is better. Um,
this look cheap. Yep, real cheap pants. It's a real cheap pants. First one.
right, well, here's one out there. So, <laughs> this is what I've come up with for the first video. Um, you know, I'm going to keep working on this until uh, I come up with uh, a design that I'm going to like and that I'm feeling. Um, I'm honestly kind of partial to the one at the far end. Um, I may take elements from all three and work them into something. Who knows? But uh, that's where we're at. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm digging. I am digging this. <laughs> I'm digging the studio paint. I just, you know, there's just a lot more learning for me to do. And um, once once I learn everything and, and once I get a good hold on everything, then I will, you know, like I said, once, once, 
Once your boy gets a hold of this program, man, it's gonna be over. Once I get it and I'm and I'm on point with it, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to come up with some very cool stuff. I think um, I just gotta be patient. I've gotta keep just gotta keep at it. Don't give up on it. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna finish these up um, outside of the stream here. I am just gonna say thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. This is turning back. Um, thank you guys for joining me tonight. And in this, <laughs> whatever this is, character design, whatever. Uh, you guys can get to see the behind the scenes of me creating more and doing more in regard to my book. So I am I'm grateful. So um uh, Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take off for the night. Um, thank you guys so very much for your, your cooperation and for hanging out with me tonight here. Hope you guys learned through a little something. And, uh, yeah. So, um, if you like what you saw tonight, um, again, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube. And on Instagram, ID Walker Art or the Art of Andy Walker. That's where you can find me. Um, if you like what you see tonight, um, I implore you to join the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash ID Walker Art. You join my art club and my clicker club. You get a five by seven print every month depending on, or a digital uh, print sent to your email that you can print out on your own um, and hang up on your wall. Uh, please say it. Um, there's also um, on the higher tiers you can actually get physical prints to you as well. With a lot more coming down the pipe uh, down the line. We also have um, coffee. If you want to send a tip, you can't do the Patreon thing, but you just want to leave a tip for me based on what you see and if you like what you see. Uh, it's at coffee.com or ko fi.com slash. So tell your friends about me. And um, I may be coming on next week. I've got a friend of mine that wanted to uh, join up and do something with me. So I may be joining him uh, as well. So we might do a, a podcast as well. So if that happens, cool. If not, cool. But uh, I, I do have plans to be on uh, perhaps tomorrow or Sunday. So... Anyways, thank you guys so much, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful, 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 wonderful. Take care.